<clears throat> right, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be actually working on the focus for a change. Now I haven't done a lot of work on this recently because I've just not had the parts to do it, I've not had the time or the energy to work on it. However, today we're going to give it a little upgrade. Well, when I say upgrade, we're going to give it some fog lights. So as standard, the card does come with fog lights. However, I managed to crack one. So I took them out a few years back because I just didn't want them in. And I've actually now got some carbon covers down there on both sides, but no actual fog lights. So recently I've done a video and it was on a cup holder. So I'll link that up there for you. And that was 3D printed by a friend of mine called Liam. Liam really liked the video and he got in contact again and he said to me, right, Dan, I'll send you something else for the car. And it's actually a fog light kit. So this kit compromises of two holders, some connections and that's it. I had to buy the actual lights themselves. So they were 18 quid off of Amazon. I've got the LED Fog Angel Eyes Super Lamps. I don't know how good they're gonna be. They look fairly cheap, but it's gonna give me a set of fog lights there. I do need to, however, put the connections on there. In Liam's kit, it actually has the connections that you need for those fog lights and you get these as well. So you've got some holders for the fog lights that go onto the original uh, bumper. What looks like spacers or something. So I'll have a look at those where they need to go. And then obviously you get some hardware as well, so you get some clips that go onto the existing loom. I'd have to do a bit of wiring myself so the car could blow up, so that could be quite interesting, but I can't imagine it to be sort of too difficult. But all of this is included in Liam's kit. So if we take a look at the car, you can see it's obviously got two fog lights there on the left and the right, and I've got these carbon, real carbon, fog light surrounds, and there's no fog lights in there, so I'm hoping with Liam's kit I can actually just fit them two in there. And you can see on that side, obviously, just missing the fog lights. So I don't really use them because it doesn't get too foggy here in the UK. However, I think it's just a good thing to have because it will just look a little bit nicer on the car. Who knows? Anyway, it's more content for me, isn't it? So I quickly to show you what comes with the kit. So you get the two holders for the fog lamps. You don't get the fog lamps themselves. You have to buy them separately. You get these two, I think they're like little spacers. Maybe, but I'll work that out in a minute. These two connectors that obviously connect to here and then go on to the Ford loom. And then you get the hardware to fit. So you've got some bolts here to fit it in, a couple of little washers, and then these are obviously the little connectors for these wires here. So, and these are like little grommets that go in here. So a nice thought out kit by Liam, and we'll see how easy it is to fit. I can't imagine it's gonna to be too hard. I know not a lot about wiring, so I'm a bit concerned for myself about that. However, I think I should be fine. I'm not going to connect up the angel eyes because apparently these are really poo. So I'm just going to be using this fog light bit. So we'll work out what we need to do and then we'll go from there. Right, so I've technically cheated and I've actually fitted onto the car and it's working. I wanted to do that because obviously I didn't really know how the connections work and how it's all got to be done. So I'm going to show you that now. It's pretty straightforward to be honest. I did drop the pins a couple of times so I had to kind of find them on the floor. But if you don't do that, then it's a pretty straightforward job to be honest. Right, okay, so the first thing you're going to do is going to get your light. Now, this is the one obviously I bought. It's got the angel eye on it. I'm going to take the wires apart, like this. Get a pair of clips, and we're going to snip these wires off here, because we don't actually need these wires. Like so. Then what you want to do is you get your 3D printed part, like this. And the flat side is what goes against the car's bumper. So you want to feed the wires through like so. Then it kind of comes to a bit of a stop in between the light and the bracket, as you can see there. And all you've got to do is just give it a little push so it sort of fits and slots in nice and snug. Like so. So obviously now there's no gap. If this camera ever zooms in. There's no gap between here now. So you've got your light with the angel eye, but obviously that's not going to work, so cut the wires. Got the original wire coming out, and then all we need to do is connect these two wires, the black and the red, to the power connector. So the first thing you want to do is obviously extend the metal bit out a tiny bit, just so when it goes into the connector, you know it's seated nicely. Now, there's no easy way of doing this unless you've got wire strippers. I've left mine indoors, so I'm using some snips, but I should be able to get a half decent job. Right, you don't need much, but you need just enough to, you've got these little clips here. Now I'm gonna try and show you these, but I don't know if the camera's gonna zoom in. So as long as the camera stays focused for you, basically you've got like a little channel to run this into. The tip of the wire sort of slots in to the top here. 
like that and then the wire sits in between the, these two little grooves here I don't know if you can see that it's like a metal bit here and then you basically pinch this together so this bit is where the wires touching get some pliers pinch that together I'll zoom in and show you a bit better right it's actually working out impossible for this camera to focus but you lay the wire in between the two little sort of grab metal bits I'll try and take a picture of it and I can put it up on the screen for you that, so you can actually see what I mean and once it's pinched together that metal bit basically doesn't pull out my bad I forgot to put the two little rubber grommets on so you get two little rubber grommets that go over the end of the wires and they sort of water, water seal it to the connector once that's on this is probably the most fiddliest bit of the job is the wires but it's not too complicated to be honest so the next bit's quite important because obviously this connector goes to your existing Ford loom or I don't know if Liam does a kit for any other cars but this connector goes to your Ford loom so you need to go to the car and see where this clips into the existing loom which side positive and which side negative so I'm just going to go and do that now quickly I've worked out that number one on the connector is for my negative and the other side is positive so I'm going to click that in I'm going to click that into number one Actually, that's a bit tricky but it does go you should hear it click into place and then push number two in and you should hear that click into place like so and then all you're going to need to do once it's clicked into place is put the rubber grommets in and don't pull the wires out like I've done on the last one they kind of just sit into place this camera's terrible isn't it so you push the rubber grommets in like so and obviously I've put negative to number one positive to number two which matches the car which I've showed you on the picture and then I need to push these in so they get in a bit more so you need like a little pick or something just to get at those so I probably could push them in a little bit better but they'll do to be honest that'll be fine and then all we need to do now is go and get the connector connect it up to the car and then use the hardware to fit it so I'm not going to be able to show you that exactly but I can show you how to do it and where to find it so on the Focus RS you get these grills and then what you can do is sort of pull it away from the car here and it kind of goes in on itself then that way you can sort of move it around a bit and it gives you enough room to get your hand behind here get down to the fog light area and put the hardware on so I'm not going to be able to film that because that's just impossible but that is the easiest way of doing it and obviously from there you can obviously as well find your connector which is what I've done earlier so I'll connect this one up we'll switch them on get the fire extinguisher ready and hope for the best right so it's pretty annoying sorry about that I couldn't really get focus on the camera it's just rubbish camera it never always focuses in on things but it's a relatively easy job I'll show you the pictures up on the screen so you can see what it looks like when I was checking things I've now fitted them both to the car obviously this side works this side works I'll switch the car on show you what they look like without them on as you can see there it's just a normal fog light they're 17 quid and they don't look too bad I'm pretty happy with them you have probably other ones out there you could get but I know that Liam said these are the ones that work with the car you can't buy these from Ford anymore which is annoying and if you can they're probably really expensive because obviously it's got RS tax on it these were 20 quid. Uh, the kit that Liam sells is 55 euros. So for under our sort of 100 quid, you're getting decent looking fog lights. Now, if you've got fog lights already, then obviously you don't need them. If like myself, one's cracked and you need it replaced with something, then this is obviously a viable option to get. And I'll show you what I was dealing with. But this is the grill that comes out the side and then you can get your hand in and reach sort of down towards the fog light area there and it's pretty easy once you're in there this moves out quite far away and then you just click it back into place like so and it just sits sort of against there done so yeah let's switch it on and see what it looks like obviously they're quite blue those ones so I might look at getting those changed but they do kind of match the headlights which is pretty good so I'm happy with that. Like I say, we don't really get much uh, fog here in the UK, and even if you do, unless it's really heavy, I don't tend to put them on, but at least I know that that's now in there and protected. Yeah, so like I say, that's a pretty easy mod to do to the car. If you've got fog lights already, then you're not gonna need this, obviously. If, like myself, however, you have cracked them, then you're probably gonna need to get a set, unless you wanna leave them blank, and some people take them out, put tubes, go up to the brakes to cool them down, and I'm not really sort of all about that so I just wanted to have fog lights in there so if it is really foggy here in the UK then obviously I'll keep myself safe and other road users and if not then it just fills the hole that was there. So massive shout out to Liam for sending them to me. I haven't actually paid for them but he doesn't know what I'm going to say in this review. 
and if I'm honest, I think it's a very, very affordable and easy mod to do. I probably made it look difficult because I make everything look difficult, let's be honest. With everything that you get and following this sort of half decent tutorial, I guess, then you'll know how to fit them to the car. Now, I don't know if Liam makes them for other vehicles. I don't think he does because he's got a Mark 1 Focus RS himself. However, maybe get in contact with him. I'll leave his details on the description down below. Anyway, like I always say, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, I'm not super bothered. And I will catch you in the next video.